You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. Visit our new and improved video gallery showing you the latest weather news, viewer videos, and more. Only on theweathernetwork.com. Australia looking more like the surface of Mars. There was absolutely zero filter used in that, by the way. All right, we're going to open up with freezing rain, and this has really taken its toll, not just for on, on Canadian properties throughout Ontario, Quebec, and the Atlantic provinces, but look at what it's done in Connecticut. This is a big reason why all the power outages took place on our side of the border, and they're dealing with the exact same thing in the North Atlantic. Meanwhile, in the Gulf states, down uh, south of the Bible Belt, in Alabama, heavy storm damage. That's the, this virtually the same system. The tail end of that front brought in very strong wind with the passage of that low. Heavy rain in Alabama took some damage, closing things out in what is very appropriately called an apocalyptic sky. Literally, with the, the clouds billowing and the particulate matter turned a day sky into night. Help relieve nasal cold symptoms with Hydrosense. Its naturally sourced seawater is clinically proven to relieve nasal congestion, and you can use it alongside your other cold medications. Hydrosense. Breathe better with our signs of the sea. From coast to coast, all across Canada, there's something very special going on. It's time to show your support. Time to spread the word. Time to demonstrate your commitment to safe and sober driving. Join thousands of Canadians and tie a ribbon on something or someone you love and take the time to have a real conversation about impaired driving. Mad Project Red Ribbon. Tie it, wear it, show it, share it, live it. Find out more at mad.ca. Everyone loves nice weather, but severe weather can affect your safety. So it's important to plan ahead. That's why the Weather Network developed the Severe Weather Outlook. 
It's a new forecasting tool that can help you plan and stay safe. It provides three days advance notice of impactful weather, gives you important information about the probability and intensity of severe weather, and it's a quick reference tool that can be found right under your forecast. Visit theweathernetwork.com and check it out. Plan ahead, stay safe. I joined because I wanted to help others. To be a part of something bigger. To show my kids what's important. I joined to make my community stronger. To make a difference in someone's life. To acknowledge that our freedoms come at a cost. I joined to honor my mom. My grandpa. My neighbor. Everyone who served. Who are serving still. I joined. I joined. I joined the Legion. In 1938, Ducks Unlimited Canada began protecting and restoring Canada's wetlands. Today, our work is more critical than ever. Our wetlands, our future. A message from Ducks Unlimited Canada. For our blind and low vision viewers, the Weather Network offers regional audio description weather reports during our local forecasts on the tents. We are in storm center mode here on the Weather Network. Happy New Year. A lot of people heading to Whistler for the celebrations there. I know a couple of ski hills won't be having New Year's celebrations because of the weather. We can see the drives a little on the messy side uh, in the Whistler area where we picked up 20, 30 centimeters of snow. Unfortunately for skiers and snowboarders, those freezing levels are about to rise. And at the village, we're talking about rain. And speaking of rain, boy, plenty of it. We've seen it through the lower mainland. This is our atmospheric river. We see it backs off, heads south, and then comes back in again. So for the next few days, we're not out of the woods, but we're certainly going to have some breaks. This is what it looks like uh, from a closer perspective. The green representing the rain, the snow, that's all in blue. We've got lots of snow in the BC interior as well. There have been thousands of power outages too because of the very strong winds. So how much rain are we talking? This is just through Thursday morning. And again, it just jumped right over that. But through the evening hours, we're looking at those winds continuing to gust. They start to settle down then the next system moves on shore and they pick up again. But areas around uh, West Vancouver Island looking at 75 to 100 millimeters of rain. Vancouver, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday into the weekend. Temperatures are mild, yes, but extremely unsettled. The prairies, much less unsettled. We've got a little bit of snow, not much. Heavier snow for the higher elevations. I think the bigger story for you in southern Alberta, for example, will be the gusty winds. So we've got downsloping winds, we've got a cold front sliding through. Temperatures across the west are much milder than average. This is how much snow we're talking. Most areas less than two centimeters or two to five at the most. And these are the temperatures through your Wednesday afternoon across the west. Winnipeg at minus two. I want to point that out because normal Normal daytime highs in Winnipeg are minus 13. Let's go to Northern Ontario now in Nipigon. Uh, look at this. We can see it's always great if you're shooting snow at night to aim it at the light, right? Because you can get that real sense of how strong the winds are whipping around that snow around Superior. We've had a low pressure system move through. You had the snow in the south as well. Lake effect snow continues with those strong winds and that system will depart. By Wednesday evening, almost nobody's seeing it. We've got those squalls though, picking up two to five centimeters. Uh, List wall down towards Grand Bend, along 21, five to 10 centimeters. So if you're close to the lake shore, Georgian Bay, for example, again, 10 to 20 centimeters possible. They love it in the ski hills. Maybe not so much for the drivers. The weather pattern continues to be a mild one across much of the country. We're going to see those temperatures dip down into next week. That's what the purple is signifying. But we've had a stormy New Year's Eve for the Maritimes and a stormy New Year's Day for Newfoundland. Our storm center coverage continues here on the Weather Network. 
You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. Keep the forecast at your fingertips. Download the Weather Network app at your favorite app store. The world rings in a new decade in this force of nature. First in New South Wales, Australia, thousands were forced to flee to beaches to get away from a raging bushfire in the state's worst season on record. For some people, the flames were spreading so fast that it was too late to leave. Two people lost their lives on Tuesday. And the end of 2019 meant stormy weather for British Columbia and the reason why we are in storm center. Heavy snow, heavy rain and gusty winds continued to plague the BC coast and parts of the interior. And finally, around the globe, we say goodbye to 2019 and ring in 2020. The fireworks started on the other side of the world first in places like Sydney, Dubai and Seoul. Well, if you didn't stick to your 2019 New Year's resolution, there's good news. 2020 is just around the corner. Happy holidays from all of us here at the Weather Network. We can't talk about the winter forecast without the notorious snow squalls that occur every single year across southern Ontario. And you can be driving along, conditions are clear, even sunny, when all of a sudden you see a wall of white up ahead and that can change conditions and visibility within a blink of an eye conditions can become extremely dangerous you can have that bare and dry pavement 
change over to being snow covered because some of the snowfall rates in squalls can approach five centimeters per hour in the heaviest squall activity. And that can make a road dangerous well before it is shut down and closed. And this just stresses the importance of having adequate snow tires because they vastly outperform all season tires when temperature falls below seven degrees Celsius. The winter tire rubber holds its elasticity a little bit wet better. So think of them as cold weather tires, not just winter tires. If you're a homeowner age 55 or older, you can get up to 55% of your home's value in tax-free cash without having to move or sell. Huh? What do you say? Indoor or outdoor hot tub? Why not both? If you're 55 or older and own your home, you can access up to 55% of your home's value in tax-free cash. You don't have to sell and there are no monthly mortgage payments. Call 1-833-748-2447 to get your free no-obligation guide to a chip reverse mortgage. You can stay in the home you love and have the freedom to live retirement your way. A chip reverse mortgage has helped thousands of Canadians turn their home into tax-free cash while still owning their home, and there are no monthly mortgage payments. If you're 55 or older and own your home, call 1-833-748-CHIP. That's 1-833-748-2447 for your free no-obligation guide to a chip reverse mortgage. Call CHIP today and live retirement your way. The scientists at Alaskan who develop products for after a storm bring you a new technology to protect your family before the storm. Every winter, thousands fall on icy stairs and walkways, not with new Alaskan Ice Preventer. Just apply it a few hours before a storm and it will bond with most surfaces to keep ice from forming, as we will now demonstrate. You can't argue with science. So protect your family with the science behind all Alaskan products. video showing the drive up to Whistler, lots of mixing, and then once you got closer to Whistler, that turning into snow. So some difficult driving conditions, low visibility, slippery roads. And up here on Whistler Mountain, we're also seeing snow falling, also a little bit of hail in there, and some pretty windy conditions. And I've seen lots of people falling out on the mountain, so important not just to be careful out on the roads, but if you are thinking about skiing for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, you definitely want to be careful out on the mountains too. As I mentioned, low visibility, high winds, definitely want to stay in bounds. A good idea for today. Okay, Happy New Year. I'm Kim McDonald. We're heading into 2020. Are you ready for it? Brand new decade. Some people argue that. I'm not here to be controversial. Uh, maybe you're saying goodbye to 2019, like don't let the door hit you on the way out, or maybe you had a great year. Whatever the case, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect for the next few days. The snow continues through the higher elevations in BC, although the freezing levels are starting to rise. We've got a lot of snow in the Coquihalla expected 20 to 40 centimeters there. Sometimes it's a great idea to go skiing for New Year's, but it's not a great idea to try to make your way through mountain passes that are either covered in snow or very slippery or snowing at the time. Uh, we've got heavy rainfall, especially for West Vancouver Island. Central Coast has seen some heavy rain as well. The snow has been piling up in Whistler, and we could see from where Mia was that it was still coming down. And yes, it's very slick as well. Those winds have been problematic, strong winds leading to power outages. And this has been the weather pattern for the last Last few days and will continue to be as we head into the first week of 2020. We've got this atmospheric river. It doesn't stay aimed at British Columbia the entire time. We get breaks, right? But you can see that it doesn't really want to go too far away. So as we head into uh, late Thursday, the next round of heavy rain is expected, but by Thursday morning it should be fairly dry. So get out, enjoy. Uh, there's our snow moving across the prairie provinces. Let's go to Saskatchewan now. This is from Warman. What a scene. Isn't that beautiful? Just pristine. The wind still. It looks like some hoarfrost as well. Just gorgeous. Love this drone footage. 
temperatures will remain above seasonal right across the prairie provinces for the uh, next several days. It's not really into next week until we start seeing things even close to seasonal values. Look at Edmonton at zero, Calgary at two degrees. Both should be around minus seven to minus ten. Uh, we've had snow in and around the Great Lakes because of the gusty winds, a little bit of lake effect, especially for Georgian Bay and along the shores of Huron as well. We've had snow in Ottawa, Montreal, and along the St. Lawrence. That continues, but again, the heavier snow will stay to the north. The winds will continue, but not a bad New Year's Day for southern Ontario. You do have rain coming this week. More on that coming up. Your locals are right now. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. Go to theweathernetwork.com for an in-depth analysis on the science behind the forecast. Find exclusive articles straight from the meteorologists.